Hell yeah. Welcome to Lock Picking Legend. Okay, so what have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven locks and an AM5 leashy pick. Now, I've got a timer. Um, I've got this padlock. Now this video is made in response to a couple of the comments on the last video where I picked an AM5 core in a puck lock. It's actually that one you can see up the top there. And um, a couple of comments said, because I, I, I demonstrated picking it with a, uh, an extended top of keyway tension wrench and uh, a leashy pick this leashy pick and a couple of the comments said yeah it would have been quicker with a cone pick and that's actually not true now I'm not gonna make you sit and watch me pick seven locks with a leashy pick although I am rapido with them I mean this one's gonna come in under a minute by the feel of it if I can just oh come on Get in there, boy. Lovely. But you cannot comb pick all AM5s. And here's why. The comb pick vulnerability, the comb pick exploit, If you, in case you don't know, I'll put some graphics on the screen now, is where you are able, using the comb pick, to push both pins in every stack and the spring all up into the Bible and out of the core allowing you to then turn the core. It's a neat little trick and 20 years ago when I discovered comb picks there were plenty of padlocks in the world I mean there still are without doubt but not the newer ones you're looking at old you know they weren't really aware that people were going to make comb picks. But locksmiths have known about the comb pick exploit for a lot longer than 20 years, I can assure you that. And I, I know a couple of people who uh, had made their own. But when I told a couple of people that the comb pick exploit can't be used on all AM5 locks, they said, is it because uh, some of them are more paracentric than others? Now, I can't say for sure whether that's uh, occasionally may be the case. I know that some American locks that are the same as other American locks um, are less paracentric. I'll leave a link in the top right of this video about now where I compare two padlocks. Uh, that are apparently the same, but the keyways are very different. One of them's paracentric, the other one's almost just a rectangle. Um, no, rather, the reason that you can't use a comb pick exploit on all AM5s is because some of them realise that all you've got to do is use slightly longer pins. <laughs> I mean... If you know how comb picks work, and you should by now, because I showed you the uh, the uh, diagrams and explained it. If you use, and, and you don't have to do the whole five or six, uh, uh, well it'll be six, you don't have to do all six pin stacks. You've only got to do make one pin too long to be able to get into the Bible, and the comb pick won't work. And so the lock manufacturers started saying, well, stick a longer pin in it then. <laughs> um, I'll speed this bit up so you can just see me plough through uh, the rest of these locks with the leashy. At 5 minutes 40, that ain't bad for 6 locks. So the last one, an OEM puck lock. Let's see if we can get this in under 7 minutes. That's less than a minute a lock. 
They're fantastic picks. Uh, it, it was such a treat when Lee, she uh, moved from auto, you know, vehicle picks to pin cylinder picks. I remember when I first got my hands on one and yeah, wonderful. The AM5, not so good for people in the UK, but uh, in the United States of America. Wunderbar <laughs> is the inappropriate terminology. Come on, don't let me down. 30 seconds, you can do this. Um, I think there might be some kind of serrated pin on two there. Because I've been over that. Oh, come on. Countdown is on. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? I mean, they do fly through security pins. Very good for teaching people as well, leashes. Ah, I didn't get in under seven minutes. Oh, yes, I did. Sweet. Okay, now let's have a look at this video. Legendary. The same locks, but with the comb pick that's made for these uh, tools. Um, there you go. There's the silver line. There's the Maypole. They're all made by the same company. We've I've said about OEM on this channel so many times. Go and have a look at OEM. I, I can't go over it again. Original equipment manufacturer. So here's the AM5 comb pick. Let's set the old timer. We'll start with the old Federale. Remember, you can remember the Federale. It's got the bit of blue plastic around the bottom to remind you it's rubbish. Now, you know, comb picks, when they work, are quicker than the key. Well, as quick as. And I'll tell you what, let me know in the comments if you've opened one of those federal locks of a comb pick, because I've tried that for hours. Let's have a look at this draper job. And they're not hard to use. Line them up with the pins. Push the pin stacks into the Bible. And that's a no-no. Here's the old puck lock. Got that one open. Another pucker. <laughs> you dirty pucker. <laughs> and focus. No one wants to see the back of my hand. <laughs> The missus does. She likes that sort of thing. Steady. But how interesting is that? Maybe those, these ain't the same OEM. And all it is, is all it could be, is one pin that's too long to get shoved up that Bible. If you are a true beginner, the Bible is the, the term given to... The um, the chambers where the the driver pins usually go when you uh, put your key into a lock. But as you can see, so to the people that said in the comments of the last video it would have been quicker with a comb pick. Nah man, comb picks are virtually obsolete now. You know, you, you see them on these multi-tools or what have you, but they look great in the videos. Oh look! But you can do without them. So there you go, those two. Nice little video. I thought you'd enjoy that. No. And don't forget, people, it's the Lockpicking Legend Live Lounge, the second one, this Sunday at 2 o'clock. That's 1,400 hours UK time on Sunday. All right? Sunday the 10th. You have to be a member or you won't be able to see the link. And I put, I uh, published the link in the community tab. It's only a couple of quid a month. Um, we had a right laugh last time. There was only about eight people in, but I think I didn't give enough notice. That's why I'm giving more now and I gave someone the last video. So two o'clock, Sunday the 10th. Um, we've got over... 28 people signed up so hopefully there'll be more people there it was an hour and a half of real good fun so 
And look, this is this is what it's about. It's about building a community. Because if we can build a community of people who get to know each other in the chat, people who can come on and talk to me, we can help each other out. We can swap locks. We can make challenge locks. We can exchange tools. We can sell each other tools that we've had enough of, etc. We can exchange knowledge. You know, for two and a half quid a month, that seems like a good, a good investment. And it is fun. So hopefully I'll see a load of you there on Sunday. Look after yourselves and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and do give us a thumbs up. It really helps. Hmm. Ta-ta. Legendary.